Oh my god, this update is so live. You're watching Terminator Max, and today we're going to be reviewing the new Index Imperium 1 for the Space Marines. Now, it affects a lot of, um, sort of gameplay, and, yeah, it's very good. And it covers Space Marines, Blood Angels, Dark Angels, Space Wolves, Grey Knights, Death Watch, Legion of the Dam, and many more, sort of, inner factions within the Space Marines, such as... Crimson Fists, those sort of things. Now I'm also going to be comparing it to other codexes, such as the most more recent one, Warhammer 40,000 Codex Adeptus Astratus Space Marines, and the oldest one I have in my collection, the Warhammer 40,000 Space Marines Games Workshop, and it has that sort of, um, it's quite old and it's got quite nice pictures and drawings compared to the more recent version and the sort of middle version in my collection. But mainly this video is going to be focused on Imperium 1. And I'm just going to be showing you what sort of basic rules it affects. So let's just move on as, obviously, as we can probably remember, movement. So, normal movement, can, a normal troop unit can move six inches. So, However, Terminator can move five, the wounds have changed, all that sort of thing. So Terminator squad, let's start with the Terminators. The Terminators have five inches. Now remember before they used to have six inches and every troop used to have six and they've stated otherwise for it to fights. However, this one stops off with five inches. Also, you can notice the wounds are a bit different. Two wounds. Usually they only had one. They've still got their two up armor saves and they've still got most of their other attributes are similar. Also, the power system, 13 power for a squad of five Terminators. Now, you can get an additional power of 13 and 10 Terminators. Now, they're very strong now, and that's by, like, an addition in your army. Normal unit pretty much stayed the same, to be honest. Basically, the same amount of wounds. Um, well, you just look at it now, really. Um, but, yeah, so it pretty much stayed the same. There's also Primaris, Primaris of the Ancients. Now these are sort of, if, if you read the book, it's about um, how Robert Gilliam, who's the forge father, the, who's the chapter master, not chapter master, father of the um, Space Marines, uh, Ultramarine Space Marines. Tactical squad. So yeah, Space Marine six inches, pretty much did the same. Wounds one, saves, fully fast, that sort of thing. However, now, you know, your puny little, well, not puny, but I'd rather say weak librarians are actually not so weak. Check them out. Six inches, most of these attributes are similar. However, look at those wounds. Your librarian can have four wounds. Now, that one mainly can keep stay, along, stay alive longer in the battle. So it will take four shots or four melees, four wounds of melees or shots to take them out. Now this is such a good update to be honest and I reckon it's for the best. Seven power, you know they've got a new power system. So Captain on a bike, seven power. And yeah, really good. Six power for a librarian. So if I was to recommend a good sort of play style, I'd recommend 20 power games. That means you can fit in there, Captain, a small unit of men. But yeah. So that's basically reviewing and it's a change from the sort of point system there's not as many colors so it may actually be going back to the old um codex sort of blandish colors but i like it as there are the additional sort of drawings so for instance there's that there's the forge father mark and hester but yeah um today was just a quick review hope you enjoyed it and I'll be updating with some painting videos, more on the new index, and thanks for watching. You've been watching Terminator Max. Hope you're enjoying the new rules as much as I am. Terminator Max, signing out.